developments tonight in the fight over fly ash. It's a story I've been investigating as part of our Oklahoma Impact team. Today, the power company at the center of one of the environmental battles held a news conference to clear the air, so to speak. This fight over fly ash is centered in the town of Bokoshi in LaFleur County. We first brought you Bokoshi's story back in October. Residents there are fighting to stop this, a massive fly ash dump just a mile from town. I had a very bad rash of cancers and respiratory problems. They say they can't prove the connection, but the closest residents to the fly ash site have come down with respiratory problems and a host of cancers. Fly ash is a byproduct of burned coal and contains many heavy metals like lead and arsenic. This fly ash comes from a nearby power plant. AES Shady Point. The plant's ash has been dumped here for 10 years, but only recently came under scrutiny after residents took their complaints to the media. We are not going to allow false and unsupported accusations to continue. A spokesman for the power plant says enough is enough. He believes AES is suffering a black eye when they've done nothing wrong. He says there is no proof that the fly ash causes health problems and they're following all the rules. We followed all regulations for the management of fly ash and will continue to do so at the state and the federal level. But right now there are no federal regulations and the Bokoshi site alone is regulated by three different state agencies, none of which will take full responsibility for the site. A spokesman for the dump site itself was on hand and says they feel the state regulations are sufficient. We have no, no complaint about how that's structured. I, I think I would, uh, I would chime in with the philosophy that if, uh, if the legislature wants to change that and put it all under one agency, we will work with one agency. Back here in Bokoshi, residents say they would like to have been included in that conversation with AES and say, quite frankly, they're confused about the message they're sending. And I'm really surprised that they want to talk so much about it when they have more or less told us in lots of uh, situations that they deny any liability with it. They say that the fly ash isn't theirs. You know, they create it, but they don't want to take, you know, any liability with it. The spokesman for the power company insists the fly ash is not a liability and they plan to continue supplying it at the Bokoshi site for at least 10 more years. A federal agency, the Environmental Protection Agency, is currently looking into the possibility of taking over fly ash regulation from the states. If it does, fly ash could be labeled a hazardous waste. There's a lot more information on this story at newson6.com.